This guide is going to be for the Void Touched Armaments for all classes, that means for blacksmith, tailoring, and leatherworking, and also for both factions. So hey, easy, convenient, all in one place. The first thing we're going to need to do is find the Dead Twilight Cultist. Now his body is going to be in the western part of Ashenvale, right there, right on my little marker right there. It is 17.5, 26.2 on the coordinates. You'll find his body. Now we need two things in order to get the correct response from him. The first thing is we need an elixir of coalesced regret. So you can buy that at an auction house. It's about four gold, three silver on a Crusader Strike server alliance side. And you're going to need at least 100 in your profession. In my case, that's leatherworking, but blacksmithing, tailoring, you need at least 100 skill. So we're going to go ahead and drink the elixir of coalesced regret and then talk to him. Now he's going to give us a ton of dialogue, ask to approach, I help you, slow down go on so what happened next and then we're going to go through all of this dialogue until we reach the voice in your mind trails off and is gone you are alone once again and we're going to click on goodbye now you'll notice nothing happened we didn't get a quest or anything like that kind of kind of uh, underwhelming but it's done so now we can go to the next part which is actually going to take us into bfd now here we are on the altar where you'll find Big Turtle Shell Boss. There will be this corpse right here. This is Old Seracus, the Devoured. Once you've done the previous part, going up and interacting, oh, interacting closer, will start yet another bit of dialogue. Once you're done with the dialogue, you'll get a handful of shifting scales. Now we can go on to the next part. Next, we gotta travel to the Ratchet Inn. So you can see me right there in Ratchet to find Nora Anyheart. Now there's a few prerequisites we have to have in our bag. Of course, one of them is the handful of shifting scales, but we also need to have 40 strange dust, five greater magic essence, two small glimmering shards, and five raw gold. Once you have this, you'll be able to talk to her. So we'll go through the dialogue right here and she will give you a quest. Now this quest will actually reward you with a trinket, it's five spirit, and it protects you from the effects of crushing darkness. That's the important thing. So let's go ahead and accept that. Since we have everything in our bag already, we'll go ahead and continue, complete, and hey look, we have a nifty new trinket. For the next part, we are back inside of BFD. Now this is the Temple of Kelris. I believe he's the sixth boss in BFD, so you'll either have to clear up to him, or if you're a class that has stealth, uh, luckily I'm a rogue, uh, you can just make your way way back in here. Now the walk is pretty long in stealth. Uh, maybe not if you're a druid, but if you're a rogue, it's a long walk. Anyways, under the Temple of Kelris, you're going to find old uh, the old boss chamber here, the Forgotten Pool. And as long as you have the scale equipped, the shifting scale talisman, uh, you will not get injured when you travel deep into it. So let's go ahead and make sure we have our breath and swim down for it. As we start to get lower, we can see that there is the artisan's chest. We can go ahead and loot that and we'll get this item, the box. For the next part, we're going to have to travel to Hillsbrad Foothills. Now, for the Alliance, you're going to want to find Ardell Dralta. She's in South Shore, uh, right around 5158 inside the inn. Now, if you're Horde, you're going to have to find an NPC named Brave Stone Torch. He is also in Hillsbrad Foothills, but he's a little bit more north right here by the river. Both of these NPCs, when you open dialogue with them, will let you know that they saw an enormous light wreathed stone that seemed to have fallen from the sky. That's where we gotta go next. We gotta go find the shard. The last part is gonna be finding the shard of light in Hillsbrad Foothills, right about here. Go ahead and show you on the map. Right about here, you start a path up to Ravenholt, and then the path just goes around. So you go around behind to the right of the Ravenholt Castle. There's a little walkway right here. You'll go around the side of the mountain, which is right back there, and come up to the Shard of Light. Once you're in front of the Shard, just click on the box to destroy it, 
and it will spawn the shadowy figure NPC. Now pay attention here because we're going to go through the dialogue until there's two different options. At the end, we want to make sure we choose the option that says fine, show me. If we choose I want nothing, we'll get just that and we will lose out. You'll see we've now learned four different recipes. The pattern is automatically going to show up in your professions. Now there is a prerequisite. You do get one shard of the void just by completing this, but each class will have a different prerequisite item, mine being the toughened leather gloves. And that's it. You can now craft your void touched armaments.